it's me, Nana. I'm here today, I'm opening the video. Uh, I wanted to talk about the video, but more importantly, I wanted to tell you that we've decided to have a giveaway. We are quickly climbing towards our 1,000th subscriber. And uh, to me, well, <laughs> It's the most exciting thing. I'm so stressed out. I, I've done this video seven times already. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm just so, uh, it's just so unbelievable to me. So we wanted as a family to say thank you. And the only way we can do that is to do it with a giveaway. So we thought, okay, let's, let's think this through. So 24 hours from the time we upload the video, whatever that time is, because you know, you never know how long it's going to take. So 24 hours from the time I upload the video, uh, we will keep it open uh, for comments down below in this video. We'll keep it open for comments. And then 24 hours after that, we're going to shut it down. And then what we'll do is we'll take all the people who signed up, issue them a number and put it in random.org. So, the only thing you have to do is one, make a comment, okay, down below in this video, and also subscribe. You don't have to give me a thumbs up, but I'd like that too. But all you gotta do is write a comment and then be a subscriber. I have a list that, you know, that YouTube gives us a list of who subscribed, so that way uh, when you enter, We'll just find you on the uh, subscriber list and give you a number. That easy. And then whoever random.org picks, whatever number random.org.picks, will win a $25 gift card, a Visa $25 gift card. We figured a Visa card would be better and that way you can spend it wherever you want. It's just our very humble way, a very small way of saying thank you. Uh, Really, that's it, thank you. Are there any other words uh, deeper than that? They come from our heart. And when I say our, I mean us, my family. Without my family, this, this, this whole video thing, it wouldn't be happening. I don't know tech for nothing. <laughs> I don't know lighting for nothing. Uh, I ha just happen to have a very talented family and they help me every day. So. And you help me by enjoying what I'm doing and letting me know. So keep letting me know, okay? And let's let's keep watching that subscriber list go up. This is a family and, and I love it. Okay, so really quick, not to take up your time. It's the gnomes and it's the fairies and they're from Dollar Tree. They're in my little basket, a basket I've had for about 15 years and it's permanent. It's always going to be. I've got the directions in the video. I'm going to type it up and put it in my blog, but basically the design is yours. All you have to do is get the uh, fairies and get the gnomes, uh, get whatever accoutrement, whatever, you know, um, embellishments you want to give to them. For me, I gave them each their own little place. And you'll see that in the video. In my mind, as I was making it, each one has his own little story based on what they're holding. You know, they're each holding something. And the fairies, well, the fairies, they're up here, they're looking over the gnomes, as well as some tucked away and hidden in other spots. So enjoy the video. I'll put a little reminder at the end, okay? Um, I hope I don't have to <laughs> redo this video, but again, uh, subscribe, make a comment down below, and you'll be entered for the $25 uh, Visa gift card. That's just from us. We're not sponsored by anybody. It's just from us as a thank you. Okay? Have a great day. Enjoy the video. Bye now. Okay, let's get the things together that we need. First, I'm putting, get whatever you want to put your uh, fairyland, gnome land in. I chose an old basket and here we have the fairies and their friends and their, uh, you know, yard, <laughs> yard accoutrement. And uh, here are the houses and the um, 
gazebo. Here we have the bridges and there's a bench. I chose a, a different kind of uh, greenery. And these are just uh, trash bags and filler from packages that I received. And I'm kind of uh, making it as firm as I can, but giving. That's why I chose to wrap versus just crunch everything. So when you wrap it, you have a little give. It's as if you have more paper there than you started with. Anyway, I'm trying to make it as uh, tight in there, but again, have some give because I know I'm going to be wanting to poke things in there. I have that last piece of um, filler, again, from a package. I'm using a 14-inch uh, reef. This one I got at Walmart. And uh, we're ready to go. Now the important part is uh, the filler, the green stuff. This is the moss that I got from Dollar Tree. I specifically went to several just to find this color. I needed it to be green versus the brown. Uh, several of the stores had the brown and I, I, I really wanted the green and as you can tell it's just vibrant and uh, really good filler. The more you crunch it down I found it's more um, it works with you better. If you, all you got to do is take charge <laughs> and then I have the sheet moss. The sheet moss I got at Walmart. It's just one sheet. Again it's a different color and I kind of like that because that's the garden area. That's the yard area for the gnomes because the gnomes are going to be living in our little hamlet. Okay this was an idea I had and I wanted to bring it to fruition. I cut the foam circle and I'm going to wrap it in the sheet moss. And the reason I'm doing this is, you know, the, in the olden days, uh, the bridges, uh, they were covered in moss uh, versus uh, stone. So I'm doing that. It's hard to get up my uh, stone bridge or my excuse me my moss bridge because I have a secret up there but we'll talk about that later for now I also chose to use rather than rocks I used my uh, multicolored jewels the blue white light blue uh, I thought it would bring more color now when I when I'm putting them on I'm also kind of putting some uh, moss in there some loose moss to give it that old look I wanted it to have that old look so in instead of putting it in the center I thought I'd put it a little off kilter to the side to give you know an open view into our hamlet and I decided I wanted flowers up there and there I just cut them off and put them in and underneath our bridge, we have a babbling brook that has no water. <laughs> so I put uh, the stones in there just to uh, emphasize that it's a bridge and there is water that goes through it. Just not today. <laughs> what I ended up doing too with the bridge versus instead of putting it inside the basket, I hot glued it to the rim and that gave me again more space. Here I, I wrapped up a... Uh, a trash bag and I put it underneath the sheet moss to give a uh, height to one of the houses and then I took chopsticks and I hot glued them into the first house the house that's going into the hill or onto the hill that would give it stability when I move it so therefore uh, I'm going to hot glue all of them but for the ones that don't have a hill I cut the chopsticks in half see so we have the long chopsticks for the hill and we have the short chopsticks for the other ones. And this is, again, just to give it stability. I used rocks, I used hot glue, whatever I could get to uh, really put them in there. So when I pick it up, it's not going to fall out. You see, I put the rocks in there to give it some stability. This is real construction, okay? <laughs> this is as close as it gets to real construction for me. And then we're hiding it again, well, a little bit of sheet moss, and then I'll put some uh, just regular loose moss to hide our little plastic bag. And hot glue everywhere, everywhere. You know, I, I'm going to have to buy stock in hot glue. Okay, so now we have uh, everything ready. It's beautiful. The hamlet is ready to uh, start, and we're going to fast forward so you can just enjoy the process. Uh, hope it inspires you to uh, make one of your own. 
for me, uh, my mindset in making them was uh, each gnome is holding something in the hand. One of them is holding like a water, uh, a watering can. So I gave him a lot of flowers. The other one is holding a bird. So I put bird, the bird bath in his uh, yard. So like that, I just decided I wanted to give it personality that matched the gnome. Now I use my white rocks, <clears throat> excuse me, as uh, a path, uh, just a pathway through the hamlet. And I also uh, use some Distress Crackle paint, and those are the jewels. I painted those, and what happens with the Crackle paint is it gives it that old look, so in the end, tomorrow it's gonna look uh, much older. And then I took some skewers, and I put the, the flowers onto the skewers to make it look like it had trees. Again, I'm putting rocks around the house to give it stability, that's not just for looks. And then I put flowers around it, and I, this is the toadstool house, so I put all the toadstools around them. Instead of randomly placing the toadstools, I thought, you know what, I'll just keep all the toadstools with the toadstool house. And then um, with the uh, pink uh, flower house, I believe I just put purple flowers on that. Now, as you see, when I'm making the pathway, I put a lot of glue down first, and then I just basically threw the rocks in there and hot glued them back in. Here we're going to take a little uh, stroll through our finished uh, village, hamlet, whatever you want to call it. And uh, again, I just really enjoyed the process. I, I hope you do too. Uh, each one, again, here he has a little watering can, so he has a lot of flowers. He has a flowering tree. I just, I loved each and every one of them. And uh, down on the other end, we have our little uh, fairy. And in my mind, I even gave them names. Here, uh, as you go up, well, first let's look at our little snails. They're so cute. Now we're going up the bridge, right? It is the fairy crossing. And we happen to find our little Phoebe. In my mind, this is Phoebe. She's uh, holding a little ladybug. So I put her in the flowers. And then we have Fiona. Fiona is standing there watching over the gnomes. And I gave her a little house. That's a sticker, actually, of a window. So I thought, oh, that, as soon as I saw it, I thought, that's going in my, my, uh, my fairy house. And here we have Fina. Fina is the quiet one. She's amongst the flowers. As you see, she's holding a flower. So I thought that it would be good to just keep her there. I hope you enjoyed doing this. I, I hope... <laughs> he's hiding. He's our little green frog, and he's hiding. You'll see him later. There he goes. He's at the base of the yellow house, just hiding in. See the snail on top of his head? It took me a while to see that. And now we have our gnome that's holding the bird. He looks like he's saying hello, hello, and he has a bird in his hand. So I gave him a bird bath. And look, I put a light in his uh, gazebo. I thought that was the most fun. It made for a beautiful picture. Look at our little Hamlet. It even has a welcome sign. This is after I got all the uh, pathways made and... Uh, there was no rhyme, no reason, just enjoying it. Uh, the toadstools with the toadstool house, the flowers and the birds all go to the different gnomes. Our fairies are looking over them within the flowers themselves. It doesn't get any better than that. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you can take this project and make it your own. I hope you show me a picture if you do. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye until next time. Don't forget to bring color into your life. And don't forget to listen about the, uh, the little giveaway we have, okay? There's our little gazebo in the front with a light. Isn't that adorable? That's just adorable. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to say bye as we say hello to the gnome. Have a great day. Hi, guys. It's me again. Did you enjoy the video? I hope you did. 
All right, so if you uh, want to be part of the giveaway, make sure you make a comment down in the comment section and you subscribe, okay? It's as simple as that. No, nothing else required. It's a $25 uh, Visa gift card, just as a, a thank you from my family to you, okay? So other than that, have a great day and thank you again. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Thank you for uh, understanding what we're trying to do. And remember, bring color into your life. It'll make you smile. It'll make the day so much better. Thanks again. See you next time.